<laughs> Jesus is here to give you unction to function. There is a place you desire in the realm of the spirit. I see a shift in that place now. Is anyone ready? Take. Is anyone ready? Drink. Is anyone ready? Take. Is anyone ready? Drink. Is anyone ready? Take. If your spirit is open, the Lord is here for you. But if you're a spectator, keep looking. But I'm here to set you on fire. The Bible says, Surely I believe baptized with water but he that cometh before after me is preferred than me he shall baptize you with the holy ghost and with fire if you want to drink from the fountains you want to drink from the fire you want to drink from the realms i plunge you now into the place of fire i play i plunge you now into the place of the anointed Lord is showing me anyone here that has been clothed with rats I see it in the realm of the spirit where they clothe you with rats and that has plunged you into the life of untold sufferings but I'm here to let you know by the spirit of God and by the spirit of Christ the rats is on fire every strange clothing on your body at the count of three, the fire of God is coming upon you. Every strange clothing, strange clothing, whatever that my God has not placed on you, that evil man has placed on you, you strange clothes, uh, you strange garment, uh, I set you on fire, 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 one. Uh, Two, uh, three, uh, I command, uh, let the fire of the Holy Ghost uh, begin to burn it, 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 uh, let the strange clothing catch fire. and I want to be specific while I was dealing with that garment I saw a morning clothes someone that I've been seeing grave over for some time now in your dreams every morning clothes that the enemy have wore you in the realm of the spirit I said that clothes on fire is happening. Yes, yes, the cloth is burning. The cloth is burning. Don't answer amen. Just keep quiet. The cloth is burning. The cloth is burning. The cloth is burning. The cloth is burning. The cloth, every strange garment that is not of my father, I put it on. I set it on fire. 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 Fire burn in the name of Jesus. Fire burn. Fire burn it. Fire burn it. I remove that garment. I remove that garment of mourning. I remove that garment from you. I set it on fire. I didn't come for everybody. I came for a few people. And anyone that is ready, you get your own. 
there are. Is there a witness there? Bring them for me. Please bring them for me. Lift up your hands and appreciate God. Close your eyes, I'm still ministering. Where is your other person? We seen grave or something that has to do with death. You, or two of you, you've been seeing it for some time. That's why the Spirit of God pick you out. Stretch your hands. Close your eyes. Every morning, they stole. I saw as if they ripped someone of money from the dream. I won't ask you to come, but the Spirit of God will identify you. Every money they stole. If you are the person that I'm opening your case now, something strange is going to come on you. And as the Spirit of God enwrap you, your hand will start vibrating. It means restoration is returning. At the count of three, if you are that person, Jesus, identify. Touch one. Touch two. Touch three. Yes, 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 yes. The power of God is on that person. The power of God is on that person. Come on. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. Let there be a release. 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 Every thief that stole in the realm of the spirit, I command restoration now in the name of Jesus. Is there a witness? Let me have you. Come. Stretch your hands. God is not true. He wants to answer many people today. There are answers everywhere hanging. I don't know what it is, but I saw a woman. Your marriage is a little bit above four years. I saw a fruit being handed over to you. It's in between four six. I saw a fruit. And I hear the Lord said I should let you know. In between four to six. Where the Spirit of God will identify you. I see a fruit hanging. Three fruits, they're hanging. I see two boys and I see a girl. If you are that person, I see an angel lowering the fruit to you. And I hear the Lord say, stretch your hand and cut it. And the power of God will overwhelm you. Take it now. It's your time. It's your time for conception. I came because of you. I saw those boys in the realm of the spirit. So I've come to deliver them to you. Come on, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it, one, take it, take it. Yes, yes, hepa. Shatambe koto lika para tete teketo. Vete kalabariandosa. Vete ketalito. Brasete atula teketalabadosa. I disengage the power of the wicked. And I release it to you. Congratulations. Is there a witness? Let's have that person. It's settled. Oh, just lift up your hands and appreciate him. So many miracles are available. So many miracles everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah.
wherein, O oh, seeing grief, O oh, death, who has opened the gate of death in your father's compound? I command by the power that is in the name of Jesus. Anyone that has opened the gate of death, I command let the gate be shut against them. I command let the grave swallow them up. You are shouting them and shout them in like thunder. Every money they stole in the dreamland and that has brought untold suffering in your family. I demand by the power that is in the name of Jesus, by the God that called me, I command restoration in the name of Jesus. On the altar of God is the place of answers. On the altar of God is the place where men receive solution. I decree. Those two boys and girls that I saw that the angel lowered the stake for you and said this month shall be your month. I decree let there be restoration of whatever that is taken in the name of Jesus. By the God I serve. And by the oil that is upon my life, I restore to you that with the canker worm has eaten, that with the caterpillar has eaten, that with the panda one has eaten. I restore to you that I restore, 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 I restore in the name of Jesus. Whatever the angel of God has identified in your life, I bring fulfillment. Take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it. I declare it settled in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Return to your seat. Lift up your hands and appreciate God for answers. Why will you pray? You want to pray. Why do you want to pray? I want somebody to walk out of today's service with something in his hands. I don't want today or this Tuesday to be another Tuesday. But I want it to be a Tuesday that will leave you with a testimony in your hand. A few months ago, I was out of town. One afternoon in my hotel, I felt like to pray. And I began to pray. And I had a leading to call a lady, one of our, my daughters in church. So I called her and I said to her, somebody will look for you today. And I prayed with her, I dropped the phone. While she was about to board the Tekel, immediately I finished praying with her, a young man tapped her. Say, I like you. I want to marry you. Ah, just like that. I don't know you. You see, I came here to look for you. So 
to say, I like you, I like you, and I want to marry you. While she was still contemplating, two weeks later, he gave her a call, said, where are you? She said, I'm traveling to the village. The young man said, where are you from? She told him unconsciously. A few hours later, he was in her father's house looking for her. He said, but you didn't tell me you were coming. Uh, I just want to surprise you. He said, let's go and see your parents. He walked to the mother and said, I want to marry your daughter. You, you are married, so you don't need anybody to tap you. But there is a contract that needs to tap you. There is a job that needs to tap you. There is an opportunity that needs to tap you. But I want to reveal to you three mysteries. And if you get the gist, then we can do the warfare. And if you get the gist, then you can get what you're looking for. I want to give you the three mysteries of the oil. I'm not talking of anointing service. I'm talking of the oil in the life of a man. Say, is it not the Lord that have anointed thee to be captain? It means you were not a captain, but when oil came on you, you became a captain. It means you become an officer. It means you you become an authority. The oil of every man of God is his authority. And any time you place a demand on an authority, the authority responds to you. So I want to reveal to you my authority. Are you hearing me? You see, when you carry your vehicle to a filling station, if it's a diesel engine, you don't position it where the service PMS. You position it where the service diesel. And when they take the nozzle, once they put it inside the tank, what they are releasing to you is diesel. Because you are taking the right engine for the right product. When you carry, mistakenly carry kerosene and pour inside a fuel generator, you are looking for combustion and you will get combustion. And in combustion, you will burn. So when you come to a place, what are you looking for? When you come here, what is your desire? What have you identified as oil that is at work here? Is the oil you identify that works for you. That's why you can be in a place because you did not identify that oil. You can be coming and be going with your problem. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You'll be starving thinking they don't have fuel. But the problem was that you saw diesel is sold here. You didn't see PMS is sold here. Sit down, let me talk to you. But that city, know that is brief. Because we are going to pray. I don't have a note, so follow me. Did you hear me? What did I say? I don't have a note, so follow me. First Samuel chapter 10, verse 1. First Samuel chapter 10, verse 1. Boma Friday. Is this your first? Wow. I miss you. Greet your husband. Paul will say, greet Priscilla and Aquila. I am saying, greet Boma Friday and Friday. First Samuel chapter 10, verse 1. Then Samuel took the veil of oil and poured it upon his head. <laughs> I'm not talking about 
an anointing service. I'm talking about an identification of authority that have come upon a man. And he poured upon him and said unto him, Pour upon his head and kiss him and said, Is it not because the Lord has anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? Verse 6 of that scripture, I want to show you something. Verse 6 of 1 Samuel. And the spirit of the Lord will come upon thee, and thou shalt prophesy with them, and thou shalt be turned into another man. Anytime oil come on a man, the man enjoying access to a spirit. The man enjoying access to a spirit. And the spirit turns the man, regenerates the man into another man. It means he's been translated into an authority. Somebody say here. Listing is not the is not the oil that induces the calling. The oil only establishes the calling and gives you authority. You hear some people say they anointed me to be pastor. It means they were not pastors. Is the anointing that made them pastors. But listen, whatever you carry, when oil come on you, what it does, it establishes the authority of what you carry. It makes you become a phenomenon in that very office. So a spirit comes on you and the spirit becomes an authority in you and you begin to function according to the authority that, is, that has come on you. I don't know whether you understand me. When you call the name Chris Oyakilome, it represents healing. When you call the name David Oyedepo, it represents faith. When you call the name Dr. Paul Enenche, it represents power. When you call the name Benny Him, it represents healing. When you call the name Kenneth Copeland, it represents faith. When you call the name Catherine Coleman, it represents the Holy Spirit. Every calling has a spirit. And every spirit has the backing of an oil. And every oil establishes authority. So when you want to relate with a man, relate with the oil he carries. Why? Because the oil represents his authority in the realm of the spirit. There are people that are called to solve certain issues in the body of Christ. So they came and were anointed to establish an authority in a particular direction. When you call the name Archbishop Benson Itahusa, you are talking about a man that brought prosperity into Christianity in Africa. He represents that face. He represents that oil. From the beginning of his salvation, he was a problem to prosperity. He became a problem to poverty that even his pastor said he's proud. Everybody is riding bicycle. He is driving machine. Everybody was thinking bicycle. He was thinking car and thinking flight. 
Why? Because his authority is different. That's why as many that have taken the gospel of prosperity beyond his office had to have contact with him. That is the reason why he went Oedeko came with money to see him in dollars. As he drops the money as a seed, Papa was coming out from the bathroom and he left his bathing water that is in the sink that he finished bathing soap is inside. As Oedeko gave him the seed, he told Oedeko go inside and jump. As Oedeko jumped, coming out, he knew what he was expecting. He contacted the spirit of prosperity. And that was what turned around his ministry. Your encounter with a man, a mortal man like you, should be an encounter of expectation. You are here. What did you identify that we carry? My oil represents a spirit. Luke chapter 4. Verse 17 and 18. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me and the Lord has anointed me. It means that the anointing comes with a spirit and he began to list, to open the blind eyes. It means if a blind eye come within the circumference of where he is, they see. Why? Because that is the place of his authority. So every oil represents a spirit. And every spirit represents a mandate. And every mandate carry oil. And every oil carry authority. He says, is it not the Lord that have anointed thee to be a captain over his host? You have authority. But the spirit has turned you into another man. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, if you read further, you will discover, sorry, chapter 16, if you read further, you will discover where uh, um, uh, Samuel was sent into the house of Jesse to anoint his sons. And you will see where they identified David, I think verse 11 or 12, and oil came on David, and as oil came upon David, and there and then it was established that David was turned into another man. So anytime oil comes, spirit comes. Anytime spirit comes, it turns you into an authority. So what have you come to sort? That's why uh, uh, in Mark, Matthew chapter 3, the Bible says, and John asks them, what, whom have you come to look for? Oh. A man dressed in raiment of anima or a man dressed in, in suit. I am not that man. I am the man in the bush. But my anointing is this. I have authority to clear the way. Nobody clears the way like me. That is my calling. That's why Jerusalem left. Judea left. Everywhere left. They were coming to the bush. Because he has the mandate of the moment to clear the way. So he didn't go further than that. The day he left his authority and entered another man's authority, he went to jail. He was not meant to preach in the city. Kingship has no business with him. Go and preach in the bush, people will come. He left bush and entered the ministry of, king, uh, of the palace. It was Jesus, they said, the government of this world shall be upon his shoulder. And so he has governmental calling and governmental authority. So they are not the same with the authority of John the Baptist. He left the way of John the Baptist and he loses his place. Everybody wants to be prophet. There are pastors that have never prophesied in their life. Can never prophesy in their life. And they are doing well. So when you come to a place, what are you looking for? Anytime I have nothing to preach, I have missed my calling. I know go there. I know go go there till I finish. That's why I keep it. I know go check out till I finish. So anytime when I no get with it to talk, I'm gone. What a lie. 
that is me. Word I like. So, the authority I carry is the authority of the word. I can use the word. I don't need to say, I see you jumping. If I say it, I chose to say it. But I can't tell you that I miss my lane. I am on my lane. Through the word, I produce healing. Through the word, I produce deliverance. Through the word, I produce uh, prosperity. Through the word, I bring, I make breakthrough easy for men. But my authority is the authority, the place of the word. Nobody has, I don't need 10 hour preparation to preach. I'm a mobile wardite. Anywhere you meet me, there must be word to say. Others will not quote scriptures. I can't survive without quoting scriptures. The day I talked to you and said, I didn't say the Bible said, know that something is missing. The Bible must always say. Because he has anointed me to know the word. And through the word, bring solution and build the future out of me. So when you come, what are you expecting? A man walked here some few months ago and said he wants to see me. He said, okay, no problem. Daddy, somebody is here to see you. I said, bring him in. And he came, sat down on my seat. I said, oh God, I learned you see. I said, I'm not blind. I see. He said, look at me. I looked at him. He said, tell me about me. I said, did you miss about you? You don't know about you. It's me that will tell you about you. Now, me name you. I said, you know your name? He said, yes. You know your father's name? He said, yes. You know your mother's name? He said, yes. You know where you came from? He said, yes. Me, I don't know. He said, but they say you see. I said, did you meet a blind man? I'm seeing. I now ask him, what do you want? You came to see a seer or you came to see a pastor? If you came to see a seer, get out of my office. I am not a seer. I am a pastor. If you came to see a diviner, I am not one. You want divination, they will tell you. Are you hearing me? But do I prophesy? Even this morning, I gave a word of knowledge. I said, somebody see grave. Somebody they wear around grave cloth. And the power of God answered. True or false. But does not make me a seer because I am not one. So when you come, what do you come expecting? If you don't know the authority that is upon a man, you will never get the solution that he carries. Can I go further? Give me the book of Psalm chapter 89 from verse 20. Psalm 89 from verse 20. I have found David my servant with my holy oil. I have anointed him. Go further. With whom my hand shall be established. My arm shall be strengthened. Did you see the place of authority there? It means that oil located him. Then his hand was strengthened. He became an authority. He became a figure. He became a phenomenon. Then when he became that, look at what happened to him. Go further, please. The enemy shall not exert upon him. Because of what the oil have done in his life, the enemy cannot take advantage of him. No, the son of wickedness afflict him. You can't be a messenger and a victim of the messenger. No, sir. The, the victim of the message. No, sir. 
No, sir. If the oil of healing is upon you, you should not be afflicted. No, sir. Is the enemy that is threatening your position and your authority. He said, whose, whose authority do you speak? Why? Because they saw something manifesting. Something is going to manifest in your life. But it's going to come via the authority of the oil that is at work here. Sit down, let me talk a bit. I went for a program somewhere early this year. And two popular preachers just finished their session when I arrived. Very popular. Very, very popular. That the world is celebrating those two preachers. So I'm the third speaker. So the, the second speaker was rounding up when I came in. The first speaker we met at the airport, he was, I was landing, he was going. So we hugged and wish ourselves good luck. On arriving, I asked the preacher, what has happened these few days? He told me. I said, okay, go and gather the lame. Go and gather the blind. Go and gather the deaf. I am here. He said, but they did not come first day. They didn't come second day. I said, because the person that carried the oil has arrived. Go and bring them. So I was entering the hall. The second speaker was rounding up. And when he rounded up, the power of God came. So many things happened in the meeting with him. But I wasn't, I wasn't intimidated. When they gave me microphone to greet the people for and prepare them for tomorrow's program. I said to them, please, if you have the blind, the sick, the lame, bring them. The deaf, bring them. I made that statement. So, my friend say, I think now you carry your mouth talk. I say, yes, we'll see problem. So, the first day, morning session. The next day, morning session. I'm taking morning session. I finish preaching. And I ask, is there deaf here? They were looking at me. Is there blind here? They were looking at me. Is there lame here? Nobody talked. I said, okay. Then they say, no, there are mad people here. I said, I say blind. Deaf. Did I tell you people mad? So, see, you want problem now, so we got problem. They lose the other one from chain and brought. The other one, the other one self, two people have to sit and hold the person down. In, in fact, when the person moved the first movement, I thought it was the move of the Holy Ghost. I didn't know. I said, ah, so I'm so anointed like this. I'm talking powers are devil are screaming out of people. Ah. I was preaching. I saw a woman stood up, ran to the front. I was almost slapping somebody. They hold her. I said, ah, God, this is a correct move of the Holy Ghost. Until when I said, where are the deaf and the blind and the sick I asked you to bring? They just pointed at the corner. Mad people. You see, I was not afraid because I knew I carried the oil. So I went to the boy where two people held him. Because ah, we've seen madness here you many a time. So I said, leave him. You come. He looked at me. I say, come. Am I joking with you? I said, come. Uh, I said, you, come. He was looking. I was doing like this. I said, come. He was looking. And I said, am I joking with you? Come. 
He started coming. Stand here. He stood. What is your name? He responded. What is your father's name? He responded. What is your grandfather's name? He responded. And he now turned and asked the congregation, what am I doing here? The church went wild. I said, who brought him? They came. I said, what was his state? They said, they lose him from chain. Because they learned, I came to town. I said, okay. Are you hungry? He said, yes. I said, go and give him food. I didn't pray. When you have authority in a matter, even your arrival will cause a it will cause problem. A steer. The Bible said Jesus Christ was just passing. And the blind man shouted. Oh thou son of David. He is blind. How did he see the son of David? He was able to check in the realm of the spirit. The solution bearer of his destiny is passing. And the solution bearer must not pass. Let him cry. If he cannot see, he can cry. So he cried out. And Jesus went to him. And healed him. What happened to the demonic man? The madman of Gadara. Was taken outside the city was tied to a stake and it became a terror. You can't enter the city without him terrorizing you. But when he saw Jesus coming, he understood the authority that he carries. Listen to me. What you came with, if the authority is here, all you need to do is to place a demand. If you place a demand, you will get that oil to work for you. He got his deliverance because he spoke. He got what he's looking for because he spoke. Do you know what happened? Only those two mad people, when they got healed morning session, in the evening, and I say, is there any blind? They brought a man that is nearly to the grief. The man is in his 80s. The eye. I'm not sure say that eye did the socket. Because I was looking for the eye. The eye was not there. He said he's been blind for 68 years. And you are bringing him to me. If I heal him, what use? But they brought him. They brought him. So I said, line them. First of all, it was a young man that was, was seven years old. He had something happened and he became deaf. His two sisters are there. So they brought him deaf and mute. Can't talk, can't hear. He's in his late 30s. But he was seven when that thing happened. I said, come. He came. I put my ears, my, hand, my fingers into his ears. So you spirit of deafness and spirit of dumbness, I curse you. Out. I said, one. He said, one. Two. He said, Three, he said, four. As the whole place went wild. I went to the next child. It he was the next child was was um, house girl. They left him under the custody of the house girl to take care of him. And the house girl molested the child and did some diabolic things. The child was speaking at three. But they came back one day. The child was mute and deaf. 
At this time they brought him to that meeting, he was 17. When I said the spirit of deafness, I curse you, he became violent. So some deafness are demons. So he became violent and was taken against me. And I ministered to him. So I dealt with the violent spirit. I dealt with that demon. And I asked, be restored. He was restored. I said, one. At first, as I would say one, he would be looking at me. I said, come on, talk in the name of Jesus. One, he responded, one. Then I walk to this uh, almost 80 years old man that has 68 years blindness. I said, Baba, can you see? He said, I can't see nothing. I said, follow me. He was looking at me. I said, follow me. He was looking at me. I placed my hands on his eyes. And I said, eyes be open. Now, I did something there. I said, close the good eye that I'm seeing that does not see. Then the one that I'm not seeing that is inside the socket. I can't even see the eye. The eye is inside the socket. I said, close this one. Open this one. I said, can you see my finger? I lifted one finger. He lifted one. I lifted two. He lifted two. I said, okay. Close the bad one and open this one that is clear. He opened it. I said, can you see me? He said, I can see you. I said, leave your hands and follow me. He started following me. The whole crowd went far. Others function in their office. They may be popular than mine, than me, but I carry a different authority and a different oil is speaking. So don't be in a place and say you have nothing to offer. Because somebody was on the stage before you does not mean that you have nothing to offer. He only functions in his authority. His authority is not your authority. His anointing is not your anointing. His grace is not your grace. His ability is not your ability. So you can do what you can do. I don't know whether I'm talking to somebody. For some of you that get intimidated easily, that get, that get retarded easily, that get carried away easily, there is something you can bring on board. Because you too carry oil. You, you may not carry what I carry, but you carry what you carry. Somebody said here. There should be an area when you are talking, I should be quiet. No matter how I'm your spiritual father, there should be an area of your life when you are talking, I will not contribute. Do I know how they has ticking? How they hash all those small, small finger links. I don't know. So why did you say you are not anointed? You are an authority in that area. You have what to offer. When they are looking for a banker, a doctor will not appear. When they are looking, just because he's a medical doctor and we respect them in the university and we respect people that read medicine and we don't respect people that read history, but when it comes to classroom matter, a doctor has nothing to offer. He's a history guy that has something to offer. The same person you insulted. He said, what are you studying? He said, I'm, I'm studying English, single honor, English. Of all courses, you didn't see anything. You saw English. But brother, let educationists begin to speak. Whatever you read as engineering, you can never say anything when educationists are talking. But the guy that read English will be a professor and will be talking and you'll be quiet to listen to him. So you are an authority in your field. You are anointed. You are. You are. Who say you are not anointed? You are. But I don't want to digress. Why are you here? You are looking for an oil. What exactly are you looking for?
if anybody ever told you that I'm a general practitioner, he's limited. General practitioners are limited. We specialized have high price and their values are high. You don't carry the matter of the eye to a dentist. You don't carry the matters of the brain to eye, ear, and nose doctor. You can't. Sorry, E and C, that is, sorry, E, N, and that is ear, nose, and throat. They are specialists. That's why when you have issues, you go to a general practitioner, he will tell you, I'll give you Panadol. But when you get to a specialist, he will tell you, you have to go for a scan, you have to go for a x-ray, you have to go. But a general practitioner, your, 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 hey, let me give you let me give you uh, no, come, come. let me check whether you have uh, what do you so throat or whatever. So okay, okay, okay. I will give you peptol. He will tell you to go out of his office if he's our doctor. He will now remove peptol from the, the main and put it inside that sachet. He will now tell you this particular one, lick it in the morning, lick it in the night, lick it in the evening, 50,000. But it's peptol that they are selling 100 on the road. A general practitioner will tell you, okay, we need to do an x-ray to see exactly, sorry, a specialist, to see exactly what is wrong with you. Don't solve every problem. You have an anointing to solve a problem. And the world is looking for you for that problem. So there is an authority here. He said, the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. The yoke. There is a yoke that the anointing destroys. But what is the yoke that you came with? The yoke you came with, there is oil in the house for it. So, the yoke can be destroyed. The burden can be removed because of the anointing. See, it's the anointing that breaks the yoke. It means anointing can break yoke. But identify. I was talking to one of my sons. Was it last week? I said, there is a grace I carry. I know they carry and come give people. When people come for it, they work for them. And very few people understood that grace. And very few people have tapped from that grace. A young man came to me and said, what did you pour on so, so, so person? And he became a billionaire. Pour it on me. I said, can you do what so, so, so person did that I pour it on him? He was looking at me. I said, that one does not come cheap. The woman prepared an inn for the prophet. She identified that it was a career of an anointing. She had a demand, but she, she didn't say it. So she went in the disguise of what to do for him so that the demand can be asked for. Her demand can be met. And so she prepared an upper room for him. Took care of him, gave him food. He ate. You know, servants know the problem of everybody, but they don't have solution to it. Now only your guy gets solution. And he turned to Geazi and said, what is the need of this woman? He said, she does not have a child. Geazi, when did you know all members that you know this one does not have a child? Geazi, Geazi. He has gone there one day to go and eat. He has gone there one day to go and beg because the people are rich. No rich man that Geazi does not know his problem. Geazi, oh Geazi. And he said, okay, go and tell her by this time next year. She conceived. 
brought up, brought, brought forth a child. At 12, the child died. She ran to the same source because she knew what the source carried. The same source because she knew what it carried. You came, you saw the first miracle you took off. Up to today, we can't find you. The oil has expired. Now you want to return. Why? If you have stayed, the oil wouldn't have expired. As many that have anointed that have seen light, they are shifting is what make them suffer. Nobody that have stayed and obey my instruction and order that ever went dry. Nobody. Anytime you disobey what I say, you dry because is the fountain that blessed you. Go and check the book of James. That is the fountain that blessed you. So he told Gehazi, carry my staff. To go and lay it on the child. Listen. That child would have come back to life. But when Gehazi arrived, Told the woman, Madam, I need to pray for your child. Or God, no talk anything. I just came on my phone. I've been working with him. I know what can make a child to come back. He carried the staff. If he had said, Where is the God of my father, Elisha? the child would have come back to life. But he wanted to practice what he's not familiar with. And the demon asked him, Elisha, I know. Elijah, I know. Who are you? You lack authority in the realm of the spirit because I've checked you are not anointed. You didn't pay the price for it. Neither did you bring your head to pour, let they pour oil on you. So with which anointing and authority are you speaking? There was no authority. The child refused to return. The mother said, if I stay here, I go my Peking go go. She went to the field, rushed to the field, and he saw her. He said, Okay, let's go together. No, sorry, Gehazi returned and said, You know, wake up. You know, walk. I your grace, you know, they walk. He said, All right, I know what you did because when you left, my eyes went with you. He went. He said, Okay, keep the mantle. The mantle came out of my body. He laid on the child stood up, the child came back to life. There are things people carry. If my biological daughter could go on Thursday, stand up now, my dear. Dead. Died on Thursday. They brought her to my house, lifeless from the choir. She could Morish. Morish before my eyes. No, now. I just went to her ear. Come back now. A few minutes later, they have gone. They now call her. How is she thinking we'll say we are in the hospital? They had us gisting and shouting and laughing. Ah. She's okay. She is. So when you come, what are you looking for? When you come, what are you looking for? Time is not by my side. I would have told you different ways of coming. Come to get, come to stay, come to become. Come to get, come to see. Uh, sorry, come to see, come to get, come to come and stay, then come to become. There are people that are coming to see because they had. There are people that are coming to see and to get. There are people that are coming to see, to get and to stay. There are people that are coming to become. You see the last one? I love them. This is how they behave. Second Kings chapter 2. Thou have asked a hard thing. But if you can see me, so what they do, 
they come every minute with a sensitivity. They come with consciousness. They come with their heart open. They come with, with every move they are following. They come with, if they say sit down, they sit. They say stand, they stand. They come with the heart of instruction. Willing to hear. And willing to obey. But you see robbers. Once they rob you, they move. The funny thing is that there is always a roadblock for the robber. They run. There will always be an interception. They wake up one morning. Whatever they have robbed you is gone. Then you see them humble. Mommy. Daddy. You know you are my father. You know I cannot do anything without you. Oh. Nah, 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 nah. And trust us, we like that kind of attention. Pastors, we like it. Once it's just, nah, 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 we are okay. But the problem is, is he okay? We are human. So we have that feelings. But him, he has laws. And you walk with laws and principles. So if I am accepting you, I'm okay. But you have broken his law. I am not the one. I don't have right to mend what he said. So you see, you have returned. Nothing is happening. Because he knows the state of your heart. He knows that you came because you have, you have contacted the roadblock. So you came to collect and run again. So he makes your stay long. And when you stay too long, you will not begin to say, our oil has expired. So you don't blame yourself. You start blaming us. You now say, ah, I used to know Pastor Silas. He used to be very anointed. But it's like his anointing has dropped. I'm, my anointing no drop. Oh. The thing don't even go. Shoot where, where. That my shadow is waking the dead. So the problem is you. I accepted you because I'm human. But something happened in the realm of the spirit. You broke a law and the law has to take its course. So you came, you thought you were in the front line because you still collected my Bible and still started ushering me. I still collected my Bible as my PA. But in the realm of the spirit, they have taken you from front to the back. They have taken you back to start all over again. But when you stay, you see that your turn has not come. You say, mm, this God. I told this in water life. It's not in water life. It's not in Tuesday service, chef. It's not with Pastor Beverly. It's not with you. I'm going. That is how you go to church A, church B, church C, church C, church Z, mountain of water. Mountain of fire, mountain of room, mountain of swell, mountain of this. On a mountain, they are climbing mountain now. 